An American tourist was fined $1,200 for having cannabis in their cruise cabin. And the Star of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's new Icon-class ship, well, they're going to have a sailor on board. And I'm not talking about the Navy. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on, Adventure Fam? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed Friday. It is a beautiful day here in Arizona. And uh, look, before we jump into our stories of the day, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take the next 10 seconds, hit that subscribe button, join the Adventure Family, and uh, go ahead and drop a like for this video because we are going to give you some good news. And go ahead and turn on those notification bells so you know when we post. Appreciate it. Love all the support that you guys have been giving us. And uh, we want everybody to be a part of the Adventure Fam. So go ahead and do that for me. Now, again, before we jump in, we got prom tonight. Our 17-year-old, 16-year-old, almost 17-year-old daughter is going to her prom tonight. Well, one of two proms. She's going to her boyfriend's prom tonight. And look, whew, big day for dad, big day for mom. It's uh, it's crazy. Junior prom, it's, it's nuts. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that before. This is our first one. And so... I'm letting mom handle all the girl duties. Um, there's a lot of stress uh, and estrogen and things going on. And uh, I want to stay as far away from that as possible. So hope she has a great time tonight with her boyfriend. Hope they have a good time and uh, just enjoy it. Because uh, you're only this age once. And so I hope she enjoys it and uh, has a good time. But without further ado, let's jump into story number one, which is this. An American tourist. Yes, an American tourist was... Tourist? What, what was that? Tourist? An American tourist was just fined $1,200 by the Royal Magistrate Court, well, for having cannabis in their cruise cabin. So 51-year-old Jason Vladich, or Vladich, I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but he's 51 years old. He's from New York. He was on board their Norwegian Joy. And, well, there was a drug-sniffing dog uh, that was on board, and, well... It hit upon his cabin to where they found a stash of cannabis. Now, once the dog hit upon Jason's cabin, they went in and inside of a white suitcase, they located 27.6 grams of pre-rolled cigarettes, uh, plant-like material, a vape, all containing cannabis. And once questioned by customs officials, uh, look, he owned right up to it and said, yes, it's mine for my own personal use. And uh, and he was subsequently arrested and taken before the magistrate to explain his case. Now, in explaining his case, Mr. Fladich, or we'll just call him Jason in this case, pleaded with the uh, magistrate. You know, he took full responsibility. And uh, look, uh, back in New York where he's from, uh, he said he's up. He's allowed up to 85 grams of cannabis, um, and so for him, it was just something that he was normally, you know, able to carry. And so he didn't really think about obviously the different laws and legislation everywhere he was going. And so he took full responsibility of that. And while the prosecutor was pushing for a 2,500 or a 3,000 dollar fine because he did take full responsibility for his actions, the magistrate uh, did reduce that to about 1,200 dollars for him being able to take responsibility and being culpable of that. Now this case brings up a good point in making sure that when you are traveling, whether it's even within the states or international, that you're checking the laws of those places because what the laws might be where you live may not necessarily be the laws where you're going and you need to make sure you're following the laws of the places that you're going. But it sounds like he owned up to it, took full responsibility and uh, the magistrate saw that and uh, you know said that, hey, look, what he's got is on the lower end of the spectrum from when it comes to importation. And so uh, she caught him a break and uh, he was able to you know leave there with a $1,200 fine. So just make sure you're abreast of all the laws no matter where you're going because everything from gun laws to uh, drug laws to um, driving laws even, right? They they differ from you know place to place. So just make sure you're keeping abreast of all the laws and uh, you should be fine. But uh, looks like he owned up to it, and uh, which is good. Took personal responsibility and uh, the case was settled for $1,200. All right, so let's jump to story number two right quick. And it has to do with Royal Caribbean Star of the Seas. Now, if you don't know the Star of the Seas is Royal Caribbean's second icon class ship behind the Icon of the Seas. And uh, it's going to be, you know, setting sail here pretty soon. And uh, when it does, it's going to have a new sailor on board. And you might be thinking, why would they have the United States Navy or somebody from the Navy on board? And that's not what I'm talking about, people. What I'm talking about is sailor is going to be a new dog on board the Star of the Seas. As you know, Rover is the chief dog officer for the Icon of the Seas. And Michael Bailey, well... He, he thinks that, you know, it's been a great hit and it's been super popular, which that is 100% accurate. So they are bringing a dog on board the start of the season as well. The dog's name is going to be Sailor. 
However, no details about what kind of breed it's going to be has been out yet. And so it's going to be awesome. I, I, we love it. We love dogs. We love animals. And so um, we foster and everything like that. So for us, we love the, the idea of a dog being on board and being able to greet guests and, uh, and to just bring joy to people while, while they're on board. So um, we don't have any more details of that, but I just wanted to bring that little tidbit of news to you in case you haven't heard yet. Uh, Star of the Seas is going to have a dog on board named Sailor, and we'll bring you more details when we get it, because that's all we got for you people. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy your Friday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. I'm um, not too sure what we got going on this weekend. Hopefully we got some fun things. Hopefully you got some fun things. And again, if you're not part of this Adventure Fam, we want you to be a part of the Adventure Fam. So drop a like on this video hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. We'd really appreciate it. It helps our channel out and uh, we love you guys. Thanks for the support and uh, go out and have a great weekend. Okay, peace.